Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Northwest Forager. I'm out on the farm here in Lacombe, Oregon, and it's towards the end of December and it's probably near freezing right now. It's pretty cold. But I wanted to take on the challenge of coming out here and seeing what kind of soup or stew I can conjure up by collecting whatever wild edibles are available. So I kind of hope maybe you guys would come along with me and see what I come up with and after a little bit I'll get back with you guys. See you then. Sydney. Do you want to play? That's what you're trying to do. Help me find some eggs. Huh, Pearl? Sydney? I hope you find some eggs. These ones, but I don't think they're any good. Come on. Okay, Pearl. <laughs> Wasn't as much as I hoped it was gonna be. So to be brief, be brief, the uh, two things I decided to grab was some bull thistle and some wild mustard or field mustard. And I was hoping to get more. I was kind of hoping I was going to find some wild carrot, but anything that I saw was probably too small to even mess with. I was also kind of hoping that I would have found some wild onion, which I didn't see any of that out here, maybe to give it some more flavor. I did check the chicken coop. There wasn't any eggs, which I was kind of hoping for that to get some protein. But I got two ingredients. I did bring some sea salt that I harvested, and that's in a previous video if you want to check that out. I brought my little stove cooker, my little cooking pot. So I'm going to take this down to the creek, wash them up and chop them up and start cooking some stew.
one said. All right, well, now that it's cooked up, I guess I'll give it a try and let you guys know what I think. There's three ingredients in it. I guess four if you include water. Sea salt, the field mustard, and the bull thistle. The broth smells like, like a salty, Radish. You smell a little bit of starch, but between, between me and you, it doesn't smell like anything real tasty. I could definitely use some more spices. Onion would have been nice. Even black pepper or garlic would make a huge difference. I'm gonna taste the broth by itself, see what it's like. It's not bad. Slightly salty, slightly mustardy, mustardy, that's a word. Actually, it's pretty good. Considering as cold as I am and this is all I have to find out of the ground, it's not too bad. I'm gonna try a piece of the, the radish root, if you guys can see that. That's good, that's really good. It tastes like, tastes like a mix between cooked radish and the texture of carrot. I like that. 
Now let's get a spoonful of everything, including the thistle and the leaves. You know, this had some garlic and probably some kind of protein like chicken meat or egg. This would be pretty good. Maybe a little bit of rice. I think I could be onto something. Not bad for just two plants and some salt. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned a little something. I know I did. I know that uh, as far as what I can expect to find isn't quite what I thought it was going to be. However, I did find something that I think is fairly enjoyable for just for what it is. If you like this video, uh, please give a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. Of course, anything you have to say at all, I appreciate. But I just want to thank you guys for watching through this video. And... If you want to see more like it, you can always subscribe, and there's a, a bell or something that I've been told. You can click that, and it notifies you whenever a new video comes out. But that will do it. Thanks for watching the Northwest Forager. I'm Hank, and as always, happy foraging. Sydney, you want to try this? Come here. You want to try it? Ammonia, huh, puppy? You don't want ammonia. No, you don't.